Hello YouTube and welcome to Doughboy Mike. In today's episode, I'd like to talk to you guys about one of my favorite pieces of World War I equipment, the trench shovel, also known to the Germans as a Feldspaten. Now the entrenching tool, as it's properly called, is one of the most important tools in a World War I soldier's kit, issued to pretty much every soldier in every different country for a lot of different you know, branches of their militaries. Each country actually had their own design for them. They became a very important part of trench warfare, especially with digging all the trenches and all, but they were used for a lot more than just digging trenches, latrines, and graves, as you all know. Yeah. But as you know, every country implemented their own type of design for the trench shovel. Like the British, who implemented a dual-purpose design with the metal head consisting of a pick spike and a spade blade. The Americans, on the other hand, instituted a um, T-shaped tool, which would fit perfectly into their U.S. knapsacks. The Germans and Russians, on the other hand, actually implemented a very similar type of design. As you know, the Germans actually have two main designs, one which is in similar shape to this, and another one which is a spade at the top, kind of like divvies up like a house like that. But the Russians, as this is actually an Imperial Russian trench shovel, implemented a very similar design, as you can see here. Uh, let's actually take a look at this. So guys, this particular piece is actually an Imperial Russian trench shovel from 1915. As you can see, the year is actually stamped right here. And now, as I said before, the um, German and Russian variants of the trench shovel are in indeed very similar. They both utilize the famous rectangular shape and are actually riveted very similarly here. Now, as we look closer, we can easily notice the stamp marks on the front of the shovel. As I said, 1915 right here, the year of production. And here we, um, on the other side, we actually have some Russian lettering, which are, at first glance, uh, pretty indiscernible. But after doing some research, this was actually the name of the company that produced this specific shovel. There were a lot of different ones. Some of them were actually in Finland, which this one actually was as well. Now, what's very interesting about this piece, and I'm sure you've noticed, is this hole here. Uh, this hole actually indicates that this particular shovel was uh, used by Russian soldiers in Finland during the First World War. And when Finland broke away from Russia, these shovels were actually kept by Finland and were, re were reused during the um, Winter War of 1939 and also in the Continuation War leading into World War II. And the hole was actually um, so that shovels could um, be carried on a belt hook by the Finnish troops. And of course, the, um, the original Russian paint is uh, very visible, as well as the Finnish green paint that is a slightly more olive drab color. It's, um, but, but they're very similar. Now, uh, let's say we uh, take this thing out for a test drive. Oh no, oh no guys, it's, look, it's Kaiser Wilhelm II, he's in the battlefield, and oh my god, he's got a Kaiser roll, oh, look at the, holy crap, what are we gonna do, oh, I'm, he's gonna get, he's gonna get us, he, if, oh my goodness, if, oh, if only there was some, some overweight American doughboy soldier who, you know, who was armed with only a tool meant for digging could save us and, and get him. Oh my, oh no, well, who's that, who's that coming in from the distance? Very loud footsteps, who's, oh, who is that? It's me, it's Doughboy Mike, it's me, I'm American Do I'm American Doughboy Mike, and I have this Russian trench shovel that I got from Russia. Um, and I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get the Kaiser for you guys, cause I'm, I'm a cool guy. Also, I'm overweight. All right, guys, let uh, take this kraut. <laughs> yeah, buddy. Now I'm gonna take your Kaiser roll. Oh, uh, what, what a! I, oh my God, that's just. Yeah, I, I killed the Kaiser. You're welcome, guys. He's, he's dead. There you go. And that's how I saved the the world. After World War One, then with a trench shovel. All right, good. Thanks, thanks for watching, guys. Tune in next week or whenever I have a new video out for and leave in the comments below what thing you want me to do next. You've seen my collection. What what you want me to do next? All right, thanks for watching, guys. I'm Doughboy Mike. Thanks. <laughs>